Hi, I'm Noor and this is Simplify Homeschool. So here is a favorite math resource. It's one of my favorite math resources. Um, and this is actually a workbook. So this is rare. I'm not a big fan of workbooks, uh, but these are not, um, these books are really extraordinary. Um, this one specifically teaches some very advanced math concepts without making it look like you know without the child feeling that they're doing something difficult or advanced um, this uh, publisher the this company the critical thinking company they make amazing products and i i use some of their other products as well especially uh, for critical thinking skills and uh, I have other books and I can do more uh, on this on the materials that we use from them but let me talk about this book uh, real quick um, so this book comes with different levels and we have used the other levels as well and I just wanted to show why I like this book so much so here um, you can see uh, let's focus on the problem on the left so in this question um, so what they have made in every picture is like a scale like a balance balancing scale and on one side you have something and on the other side you have what something come on the last uh, balancing scale and they will some they will have a combination of things over here or one item um, one of the variables basically so what exactly is happening here this is nothing but equations so what you're seeing here is is like an algebraic equation where these are the different parameters variables so if i if i had to put it in mathematical terms what you see here is um, two times x or i should say x and x is 100 so basically you know that 2x is 100 already right and then there is a y plus y plus x is also 100 this you get from the second image so this is what you see in the first image this is what you see in the second one which is here and you have to eventually find out that 3 times y is what this is the third one so what this is inferring is these things okay but obviously when you look at these things you would be like oh that looks hard but your child is actually seeing this and this is what they have to figure out what they have to do in their head at that time is so two of these makes hundred so then obviously one of them has to be 50 that's logical right and then if this is 50 then these two must be adding up to the other 50 based on this equation right so each of these must be how much 25 if one of these is 25 then three times of that is going to be 75 you see so it's not all that difficult but this is what is this kind of problem solving is going to prepare them from for uh, prepare them for algebraic equations and pre-algebra and stuff like that so i really really like this book so if i'm if i'm busy on a certain day or if i have guests over or i have a hectic schedule i choose these kind of workbooks which are not really watered down they are interesting and engaging and they're teaching them superior skills um, I, I keep a whole bunch of these kind of workbooks which which are um, you know I know that they are they're gonna add value and they can do it pretty much independently um, so I give them these kind of books I had read in one of the you know like a tip and she said that um, plan for two kind of homeschooling days day a which is going to be perfect everything goes as per your plan you have this routine and you follow that routine and everything is just falling in place and then there's a day two 
uh, or a day B, you know, it's like two types of day, day A and day B. So the day B's are those days where you're struggling or you don't have time or you have very little time. And those kind of days, you wanted to keep it as hands off as possible. And that's where this comes in. These kind of resources are helpful in those situations. Now, obviously this is, um, I, I don't know if this is something that everybody will like, but most of the kids uh, should be okay doing this. I don't know if this can be considered advanced because this is pretty logical and straightforward. They, they do figure out and it starts, the level one is a lot easier. And as the book progresses, this gets harder. You get like three variables. Um, if you see further, it gets, you get like more complicated questions in thousands, 10,000. So uh, yeah, and this is a level two. So probably um, level one can be used for a second grader, I guess. Um, I don't use this all the time. This is more like an enrichment thing so i think the level one we have we have we used it for like uh quite some time because i don't have a schedule or a set plan with these kind of resources this is more of an enrichment activity and i use it on my day b's which are not so good days so uh, hopefully those days are very few in the year so so we just use it on those days now uh this one this one is actually yeah the same concept so there is a and there is b there's c and there's d and then uh, so this extensively uses fact families uh, so if a is this value and a plus c is this value you need to find out c and then once you know the c and you already know b plus c you can get the b now the tricky part here is figuring out which ones to solve first because there's interdependencies so that that is a good skill and plus uh, this gets hard I mean it's just just to think that the sum of two numbers uh, is given here and then one of them is given here you have to find out the other one um, same thing so this whole concept of fact family becomes very clear if they start solving sorry about that i think my phone just um abruptly turned off so i was talking about these um so yeah these these reinforce the fact family and um, they get complicated as you progress through the book they go in thousands and things get complicated um but these these uh, resources are amazing there is also these kind of problems where you each of the lines add up to the same number diagonally horizontally and vertically okay so again you have uh, you have to kind of first of all sum it up on any of the places excuse me where you have all three and then once you have that number you can work backwards from that that okay if the sum of these three is let's say 300 so and then with this one you already know two of them so you can find out the third one then once you know that one uh, you can add these two and uh, subtract that from the sum of the three numbers and then you can kind of work like that and fill up all the unknowns now the decision making here is with uh where do you want to begin so they have to kind of work backwards and figure out uh, where can i go which one can i do first this is what i noticed like when he would do it he would get stuck with that so sometimes the kids know um you know subtraction addition and fact families and they know all of that but they, they struggle with decision making, uh, with these kind of problem solving questions. And I think it's very important to have those skills. So I would I would say this this has added a lot of value um, to
to us these it's just the three kind of problems which keep repeating all over the book and uh, it's not a lot of variation or variety but the the variation that happens is in terms of the numbers you go from simple one digit numbers to two digit numbers and then three digit numbers four digit numbers you also um start getting questions where the answer is like this one has the answer is half so, so i don't i wouldn't say that oh the level one has to be done by a certain grade level uh kids are capable of doing things it's just about the right timing so sometimes they are not ready they are not developmentally ready or they have not uh, been given a chance to develop a concept or an understanding uh, a deeper understanding uh, that's the only thing that holds them back other than that they they uh, are able to do it and if you feel that it's um it's the content becomes too much for them have them solve one problem it it's okay it's not a big deal like i normally have my son do only two pages at a time and that's more than enough for him and some of these problems he 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 doesn't enjoy them as much so he will usually come and tell me that oh one page is enough for me and that's fine that's fine that's absolutely fine just uh, uh wanted to share these uh, resources which are very interesting engaging and they are like a workbook and um it's uh it's added a lot of value so that's about it thank you for watching